a lot of people say, oh, I mean, the government might be collapsing and everything, but I mean, uh, it, it, it could be like another thousand years for the government collapses, but yeah, they're kind of on they're... their way down, but they, I wouldn't say that they're in the process of actually collapsing yet. They're trying to, they're, they're like, they're losing their influence and politicians are just trying so desperately to, to hang on to what power they still have. But I mean, um, I'm not looking at the failure of government as like a political upheaval or anything like that. I think the government's just going to go broke and they're going to go out of business, you know, just like a, just like a grocery store would, you know, they're just going to close their doors and be like, you guys are on your own. Yeah. And so, um, the thing is though, they're already broke and they're still operating yeah, all these, exactly. all these agencies. That, that's, that's why I think it's going to happen pretty fast. Uh, and when I say pretty huh. fast, I mean like 20 or 30 years, oh, okay. you know, I don't, not like tomorrow, but, um, like that's, just that's, a couple like couple decades down the line, yeah, they're just gonna few, close all the agencies. Decades. Yeah, like um, I, I think I think we might see, if not governments collapse completely, I think there's a good chance we could see a giant another Great Depression, like a giant economic crisis, mm -hmm. uh, and then people will you know flock to an alternative form of currency, whether it be crypto coins or precious metals. Um, I, I think that's definitely possible. Uh, yeah. within the next few decades and i think there's at least some likelihood that the whole thing could fall in on itself within the next 60 years you know within our lifetime yeah i mean i i 60 years man like i think yeah the u.s government is is gonna collapse by that point but there's still gonna be like even if the government collapses there's still gonna be tanks there's still gonna be soldiers there's still gonna be police uh, people with um, these weapons and, and armies that they've built up in this in this military industrial complex, even if you don't have like the FDA anymore and and the DEA and all these stupid agencies, like they're still gonna have a big mass of weapons and tanks and stuff. So there's still gonna be some like some ruler or tyrant or whoever calls themselves the president at the time who's gonna be controlling this stuff and. Who knows what they're going to do with it? They're going to be like, well, my government is powerless over my own country now. I might as well go attack a different country and try and um, imperialize some more. That's true. Um, but that's why I think the future of money is so important. Because if, if the people, if the market transitions to a currency that can't be controlled by governments, yeah, the whoever is in control of the military, ought, you know, whatever military still pledges allegiance to that government that they'll, they'll have control over them you know but they're only they're only good for you know one go around and then you know they don't have nobody accepts their money so they can't mm -hmm. you know they can't re up their weapons mm -hmm. so you know yeah. they can try one time and if they fail and they're just out of luck yeah yeah i i guess like um uh, like this massive military has been built up in america uh, mainly because of people's taxes. I mean, the, the government uses people's taxes to help pay for and they print war. money. Yeah, and, and they print money and they borrow money from China. So once they can't do that anymore, once the vast majority of the people are using alternative currencies that 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 the government either, either doesn't know about or they know about it, but they can't take your money from you in, in the form of taxes, yeah, it's going to be a lot harder to fund wars. So I guess they better be happy with um, what tanks they have now because it's going to be harder to get the funding for that in the future. Yep. The, the, single, the single strongest thing that links people to a government is the money. Is money. And uh, as, as long as governments have monopoly on money, they have complete control over the people. So I think that if your interest is peacefully... Uh, is peacefully deconstructing government the most effective means uh, that you can use to achieve that end is to um, encourage people to stop using government money bingo that is that is it right there that is the answer stop using government money um, I, I actually I have a shirt I have a shirt right here um, I ordered it from a Bitcoin related website a few months ago, but it's too big for me. I'm probably going to end up selling it on eBay or something, or maybe like a, a Bitcoin subreddit for selling items. But it says, uh, um, government money is so 2008. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit too big for me, but, um, I'm going to sell it to a, to a happy owner. 
uh, nice sentiment though, and I totally believe it. Like the only way we can, or the best the best way to to stage a peaceful re peaceful re revolution is by using alternative crypto cr cryptocurrencies, and just not supporting the old broken system anymore. 